fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. This plenty dangerous gully. Do you think someone starts flying on purpose? No, Tonto. This Devil's Pass. It's been like this for years. Gold was discovered here, and prospectors dug up every inch of the ground. It started quite a little boom town a few miles down the road. It's called Horseshoe. No gold left now? Afraid not, Tonto. Miners pretty well cleaned it out. Uh, we camp near here, maybe? You look around? All right. We need supplies, and we can't reach El Paso before tomorrow. going to be late, Lefty. You did a good job on your hair. It's exactly the same color as mine. Smooth it down on top. It took some doing, but when folks get a look at me, they're sure going to think I'm you. That's what they're supposed to think. Listen, what about the hundred thousand dollars? I've been doing some snooping around. The money's leaving town in a few minutes by special messenger. One man riding alone. Sounds perfect. You ought to be able to ambush him easy. That's what I aim to do. You go on in the cafe for about an hour and then come out and do like we agreed. And be sure folks see your red hair. Don't worry. Listen, where'll I meet you after? The Devil's Pass. And make sure you're not followed. Yes, sir. Some of the prettiest greenbacks Uncle Sam ever printed. What are you hiding it for? It ain't gonna do us any good in there. Use your head, Lefty. For the next few weeks, every lawman in this territory is gonna be looking for that hundred thousand dollars. We wouldn't dare spend a cent of it. Oh, I get it. You just leave it in there until a fuss blows over, huh? Why not? Nobody's after to go digging up Devil's Pass again. Hey, did you do like I told you in town? Sure I did, Red. I acted wild, broke Blair's window, let him see my red hair, even stole one of his hats. Did he get a good look at your face? No, I didn't stop long enough. Good boy, Lefty. You've given me perfect protection. Even if somebody seen me shooting that messenger, I could prove that I was in town when it happened. Man can't be two places at once, can he? No. Hey, where are we going to hide out until this thing all blows over? I'm not going to hide out anywhere, Lefty. I'm giving myself up to the sheriff. Giving yourself up? What do you mean? You know what the penalty is for killing a man and stealing $100,000? Sure, a rope around your neck. Right. You know what the penalty is for breaking a store window? 30 days in jail. Right again. You see, it's simple, Lefty. If I admit breaking that store window, I can't very well have been out here stealing that money, can I? No. Hey, wait a minute, Red. You never said nothing about this when we was making our plans. I hadn't made up my mind then, Lefty. But I got to thinking. A hundred thousand dollars ain't hardly enough for one man, let alone two. Get moving. Me ride to town now, get supplies. All right, Tunnel. You see my old friend, Sheriff Bryce. Say hello to him for me. Uh, me do. Sound Sound come from over there. We'd better take a look. This one dead, Kimasabi. So is this one, Tonto. Three bullets in him. Red hair. Me never see hair so red. Yes, almost too red to be real. Tell him. Black near the roots. His hair was dyed. I wonder why. 
Him may be hiding from law and need disguise. Let's take a look at that other fellow. I know I've seen this man before. He's one of the Express Company's most trusted messengers. He usually carries large sums of money for them. You think men with dyed hair hold him up and them shoot each other? I couldn't be. His gun hasn't even been fired. Besides, whatever he was carrying would still be here. No sign of any saddlebags or money pouches. Uh, maybe others in hold up. There must have been, Tonto. Besides, that red-headed fellow over there wouldn't put three bullets in himself. Ground plenty churned up. Hard to tell how many here. We'll come back later and look around. Right now, we better take these bodies into town and report this to the sheriff. Well, what can I do for you, mister? I just come to give myself up. Give yourself up? For what? I reckon this ought to tell you who I am. Hey, you ain't the hombre busted Jim Blair's window this morning. Afraid I am, Sheriff. I kind of run off with one of his hats, too. See, I don't get this. Why are you giving yourself up? Well, I'm a law-abiding man, Sheriff, when I got sense enough to stay away from that bottle. I'm sober now, and I come back to take my punishment. <laughs> well, you're one in a million, mister. I sure wish more lawbreakers felt that way. I, uh, I don't rightly know just what to do with you. As long as you're pleading guilty, I don't suppose you want a trial. No, you can just skip that. Tell me how long I got to serve and lock me up. Well, usual sentence for damaging property and disturbing the peace is 30 days, but uh, since you're giving yourself up, I reckon we can cut it down to 10. Well, that's real square of you, Sheriff. Well, come ahead, then. Hey, well, I don't even know your name. It's uh, Thompson, Joe Thompson. Come from Kansas City. Well, you won't be lonesome, Joe. Beef Corson's got the cell right next to you. Beef Corson, huh? Yeah, stagecoach robber. We only picked him up last week. In here. You got a new playmate for you, Beef. His name is Joe Thompson. He comes from Kansas City. Yeah, what's he in for? Disturbing the peace. Uh, tough guy, huh? No, not tough. Smart. Smart enough to give himself up when he knows he's done wrong. Joe Thompson from Kansas City. Now I've heard everything. How are you, Red? Pretty good, Beef. Ain't seen you in years, not since we pulled that Denver job together. That's right. I wondered where you'd been. Hey, give it to me straight. What do they really got you in here for? Like the man said, disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace? You couldn't get Red Randall in jail for anything short of murder. You couldn't? You're hiding something, Red, and you're too smart to tell the sheriff. What is it? You know, Beef, I'm too smart to tell even you. It, it's amazing. Two men with such red hair, and, and seeing them both on the same day, it's quite a coincidence. Are you sure it is a coincidence, Sheriff? Well, what do you mean? You say this Joe Thompson's hair is naturally red. That man's hair in there was obviously a dye job. Why? Well, how do you figure it? Someone else was involved in the robbery this morning. We know because the money's missing. What make you suspicious of man Sheriff Locke in jail? The color of his hair, Tonto. Why should that man in there have dyed his hair the identical shade of red? Now, you ain't making sense, mister. I tell you, this Joe Thompson admits breaking Jim Blair's window, and Jim saw him do it. Why, he was even wearing the hat he stole. Did Jim get a close look at his face? No, just the hair, but he couldn't be wrong about that. That's just the point, Sheriff. He could be. Kimasabi, do you think man with dyed hair break window while man in jail hold up messenger? Why not, Tonto? You can't accuse a man of stealing $100,000 if he's already in jail for a lesser crime that took place at the same time. Hey, you're forgetting one thing. Where's the money? This Joe Thompson sure ain't got it on him. He couldn't have time to take it very far. That means the money's somewhere near the robbery. <laughs> well, we can't dig up all the devil's past looking for it. Oh, no, Sheriff, we can't. But if I'm right about this Joe Thompson, we may be able to make him dig up the money. How? Tonto, would you mind going to jail for a few days? Let's say for vagrancy? I may not mind if it helped catch outlaw. What do you want me to do in jail? You'll spread a rumor, Tonto. That's all. Just spread a rumor. Got some company for you, Joe. Just pick this no good engine up for vagrancy. Yeah? Well, come on in, engine. There's plenty of room. Get in there, you. Figured he might have something to do with the express robbery. Go to hold him till I can check up on him.
Say, Engine, ain't I seen you somewhere before? That possible. Me get around plenty. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere. You ever ride with the old Dirk Nelson gang? Me not ride with any gang. That's funny. That's where I've seen you somewhere. You make mistake. No, I never forget a face. It'll come back to me after a while. So you're a vagrant, huh? That not true. Me no vagrant. What are you complaining about? So you spend a few days in jail. Good food, lots of leisure. And that may be so. But me find way to get out fast. Before too late. Too late for what, Injun? You not here? The rumor of big gold strike near here. Yeah, where? Same place where gold was found once before. Devil's Pass. Well, what do you know? I figured that hill was all dug out. You may be wrong. When rumors spread, plenty of miners go there fast. Dig up ground all around. You know, I wouldn't mind getting some of that gold for myself. Since when was you interested in digging for gold? Can't blame a man for wanting to get rich. You say you got a way of getting out of here, Injun? Me think so. Friend maybe come see me later. Me ask him for help. Who is your friend, Injun? Him man who helped me out of plenty of scrapes. When do you think he's coming around? When him hear me in jail, him come plenty fast. Look, Injun, you tell your friend if he can get me out of here too, I'll make it plenty worth his while. Why you want to get out? Like I said, I want to get rich. Hello, friend. Did you find anything out at the pass? Search the whole area, Sheriff. No sign of the money. Any trouble in there? No. Everything's quiet. Good. Tom has had time to spread our little rumor by now. Do you think you could get him out here to see me without arousing any suspicion? Oh, I reckon so. Might have to twist the truth a little to do it. Come on out, Injun. That's the fastest sentence I've ever seen served. Yeah, well, don't worry. He ain't getting sprung. Some lawyer fell out there wants to take your case. Insists on talking to you alone. And that friend me tell you about. Well, do you want to see him or don't you? Me see him. I sure hope that engine knows what he's talking about. I gotta bust out of here some way. Say, why'd you keep staring at him? Still trying to remember where I seen him before. I never forget a face. Did you find out anything more about him? Him give false name. Real name, Red Randall. Red Randall? I've heard about him before. He's one of the toughest outlaws in the Northwest. I had no idea he was operating this far south. One thing worry me, Kimasabi. Man in the next cell, Beef Corson. Him think him know me from somewhere. That is bad. He must have been with one of the gangs we captured. You sure he didn't recognize you? Not yet, but maybe any time now. And we'd better break Randall out as fast as we can. Now let's get our plan straight so nobody makes a mistake. I sure wish that engine would get back. I'd like to know what he's cooking up. Do you ever think he might be cooking up poison? What do you mean? I'm not sure yet, but it seems to me the last time I run into that engine, we was on opposite sides of the fence. <laughs> well, you sure ain't now. Beef, that Redskin's just as crooked as you are. Else, why'd he be in jail? Yeah. Well, I'd still like a look at this friend of his. What for? I wouldn't care if I never saw his face as long as he bust me out of here. Red, that's it. What's it? This engine's pal, you don't never see his face. He wears a mask. What of it? A lot of men in our business wear masks. Yeah, but only one of them fires silver bullets and calls himself the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Are you sure? You think I could ever forget it? It was when I was riding with the Dirk Nelson gang. That masked army trapped the whole lot of us. An Indian was helping him. It was just luck I got away when I did. So that's their little game. They figured to spring me out of here, so I'll lead them to... Lead them to what, Red? Never mind. I gotta change my plan. Beef, how'd you like to break out of here with me? I might be able to use you. It's better than being a guest to the sheriff. How do you figure on working it? We'll let the engine work it, just like he promised. Are you crazy, Red? Them two's on the side of the law. That's right. And they think I'm gonna lead them right to something they want awful bad. Well, I'll lead them all right, but not to where they expect. Mm -hmm. well, what's your plan, Red? Shh. Come in back in there, Injun. Next time, tell your lawyer friend to bring a rat he wants to see you. How'd it go, Injun? Plan all set. We break out plenty soon now. Will your friend have horses for us? Him take care of everything. Think we've waited long enough, friend? I think so, Sheriff. 
Let's begin. Oh, uh, here, you better take these. You make the noises, and I'll upset the furniture. Hey, isn't the time he was back yet? He must have those horses by now. Him back, all right. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Oh. Hey, that friend of yours packs quite a wallet. Him take care of himself. Hey, why the mask? You knock out, Sheriff? Don't worry about the Sheriff, Injun. Here's your gun. Is the man that wants to make a break with you? Him the one. I'm sure glad you're springing me out of here, stranger. My name's Randall, Red Randall. Come on, let's get out of here fast. Hey, wait a minute. My friend here goes with us. You didn't say anything about two men? Him not tell me this before. I hadn't made up my mind, Injun. You see, me and Beef are old pals. We've rode together before. We can't take the chance, Red. There's no horse for him. He can use the sheriffs. What difference does it make whether you spring two of us or three of us? You'll still get your payoff. All right. The three of you. Wait a minute. Here, Beef. We may need guns, too. In case we meet the law, I mean. All right, mister, lead the way. taking us, Red. You want your payoff, don't you? Yeah. I was wondering when I'd get it. You'll get it in just a few minutes. Say, Injun, I thought you said there was a gold strike here. I don't see any sign of digging. No time to dig up old pass yet. Maybe plenty of miners dig nearby. The area's deserted. Where are you going to get the money to make a payoff here? You know that hundred thousand dollars that was stole? From the express messenger? Yeah, I heard about it. The thief was clever. Made a clean getaway. Yeah, he got away, but he left the money here. What are you talking about, Red? You see that hill up there? Huh? May not look like it to you, but there's enough money up there to make us all rich. You mean you stole the $100,000 and hid it up there? Come on, I'll show you. It's just the other side of this boulder. You stand guard out here, Beef, just in case somebody comes along. Well, why me? I ain't never seen that much money before. Don't worry, you'll get a look at it. Come on. Where'd you bury it, Red? Some of it's right here under this stump, some of it's back over there. All we gotta do is dig for it. Well, come on, give me a hand. You dig here and I'll dig over there. How deep you bury money? Plenty deep. Just keep digging. Don't move, you're both covered. So you thought I was gonna lead you to the money. Why, you fools, the only place I've led you is to the end of the trail for you. It won't work, Red. The sheriff and his posse are right behind us. You won't have time to get that money. Thanks for warning me. In that case, I won't waste any time. Red, what happened? We got no time to gab. We gotta get that money and get out of here fast. Down the hill. Let's go. Right here. You sure this is it? Right this crack in the rock. Here it is. Sure got to hand it to you, Red. Pulling one of the biggest holdups of all time and doing it alone, too. Who says I did it alone? Why? Was there others in on it? Just one. Lefty Hayes. Oh, yeah? What happened to him? I shot him. You shot him? Why? I had no more use for him. You see, Beef, when I'm through with a man, I like to get rid of him fast. Now, wait a minute, Red. You keep the money. I don't want none of it. Too late, Beef. You must be getting old, Red. Miss me at that short range. Now it's too late for you. You got no bullets left. But I got six. All for you. They're blanks. Yeah. That's right, Red. You didn't think I'd be fool enough to leave real bullets in the sheriff's gun, did you? But how'd you know? You double-crossed Lefty Hayes. I figured you wouldn't treat us any better. Now I'll take that money. <laughs>
you finish him good, Kimasabi. Here, bang. All that murder and bloodshed. It's too bad what men will do for money. Ah, it may be a good lesson to others. Not try the same thing. Here's the money, Sheriff. Well, thanks again, friends. If it wasn't for men like you, the West would be overrun with desperadoes like these zombies here. I sure wish you could stick around here permanent. Afraid not. Tano and I have business elsewhere. Ready, Tano? Me always ready, Kimasabe. Adios. Hey, wait a minute. I gotta put your name down, my report. Your real name, I mean. He sure gets away fast. You mean you don't even know who he is, Sheriff? Oh, yes. I know who he is, Randall. That's something a man ain't likely to forget. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 